Hello, all of my beautiful beans and things. We are back with Xenoblade Future Connected. I hope you guys are ready to jump into some amazing side quests and some fantastic story. So let's get into it. Andrew. Okay, okay. Hey, you, please listen. Miss Witty is feeling sad. I'm surprised you're the one telling me Winnie is feeling sad. What about the machina? That's a word. And I know exactly why. It's because she lost her wedding ring while escaping from Alchemoth. I mean that, but also that's why she's feeling blue and I argued have long thought it imperative that I rescue her from her state. Winnie's very popular. What? No, I don't have an ulterior motive, nor is it a crush. Perish the thought. If, if I have to call it anything, I call it, that's it. I call it compassion. You're so just intense, my dude. And therefore I thought I ought to present her with a new ring, but I know not how to make one. And also I cannot move from here on account of my duty to guard the townsfolk. And thusly, I must enlist your services to seek out someone who can make a ring for me. I trust you will assist me. Um. Okay. A rival heart. I knew you would understand. Return with the ring and I might just sing. Uh. I kind of want to talk to this machina dude. And I feel like he'll have something to say about this. Uh, hi. Are you that? Hmm. You're after a ring, are you? I imagine I have it in me to make a ring. No worries, but... Can it really be true that if Ar Ardred wants to give it to Lady Winnie? I'm really not a big fan of his hot-headedness. Mind telling me the whole story? You too! Come on, just go talk to... You know, I think if she just had someone to talk to, she would feel a lot better. I see. He saw Lady Winnie feeling down and decided to cheer her up. I'm really not sure about this, but if it's for Lenny, Win Lady Winnie's sake, so be it. I'll craft him the ring. Rumor had it that Lady Winnie lost her husband coming to this settlement. She really does seem lonely sometimes. Well, to business. I can't make the ring without the requisite material, so I need you to... Bright tight for me. You should be able to find it in the stony area down the back of the Forbidden Hushland. Good luck. Where's Winnie? Maybe I could, like ward her hey um yes a moment there okay no we got Reda. you're the ones that helped inez out aren't you i make basic necessity for the folk here but to tell you the truth we're having a slight issue at the moment right you know what to ask him too i'm working with bartholomew to make a tool for catching fish that he dreamt up but we still like some resources if we had some half parts and snare wire, though, we'd be laughing. Don't suppose you'd... We'd be laughing? Alright. Suppose you could help us out? Uh, I think you're good. Both of them should be relatively easy to find. Yeah. You may find them outside of the walls, though. If you find any, please bring them to me. Here you go. We got it. There you go. Welcome. I see you've managed to find the half parts and snare wire. Wonderful. I think I can implement these straight away, actually. Won't be a moment. Alright. Good. There we have it. Here. Have one for your troubles. Just before you go, could you also bother could I also bother you to deliver one to Bartholomew? I expect you'll find him at Tranquil Tarn. Okay. Cool. Oh hi. <laughs> Are you hiding behind your uh, little icon? Alright. Alright then, safe travels. Oh, hi! Hi there! Isn't that catch a fish? DX catch a fish. Spread it to make? You brought it all the way for me? Oh, how wonderful. Another hit upon day, another hit upon victory. Hmm, you seem to have doubled the number. One is for your own personal use, and you want me to teach you? Say no more. I hear you loud and clear. Let me give you a live demonstration right this moment. Okay. Uh, is that not glorious now? You see how easy this fish opens up a vast ocean of possibilities, doesn't it? You have an e bishop angel broom and gentle clams here if you so decide. That is if you're lucky. I already got them. So yeah, I'm kind of curious. Like, what she... Oh, yeah. It literally opens it up here. I... Do you know how long I swam around trying to find these? Grandale Militia. A high ether crystal. Oh, right. Well, it's the first I've heard of it. But now that I think about it, I might actually have a rough idea about where to find one. I hope it's what you're looking for. 
Blast, you know what? I can't recall. It was a long time ago, so my memory's a little hazy. Sorry, your best bet might be asking a fellow squadsman of mine. He's on the ramparts and bound to know more. Alright, hi. Uh-oh. Um, I'd like to talk to Kino if that's okay. Uh-oh. Do you have a falling out with your friends? Please tell me no. You're doing so well. Uh-oh. Hey, Kino, you've helped me make so many friends, so I wanted to get us something special to bring us closer. Like a matching set of items we could all wear. Do you have any good ideas? Kino have just the ticket. We'll make Angela and friends traditional Nopon-style friendship bracelets. Friendship bracelets? And you can make them, Kino? That's an amazing idea. I love it. For starters, need some elastic ivy. Angela know where to find, maybe? Elastic ivy? Right. Hmm. I think my dad was using it when clearing away some rubble. He was always going off into the woods along Thule's way, so maybe that's where the vines grow? Good, good. Must find there. Alright. That's easy enough. We get another quiet moment. That upon's gift. Oh. Shook, looky look. Plenty of trees growing. Looks like this area isn't very heavily cultivated. That might be why nature runs so rampant. I have a feeling he's not going to understand you, but... Big step for Nupon! Kino make this into Frontier Village Mark 2! <laughs> Mark 2! Frontier Village, huh? I was amazed first time I saw it. All the pollen factories built into that giant Did tree. it survive? I'm so confused. Nupon never use metal if it can be helped. Except for Sister Pon, who like use Homom shield very much. Oh, uh, right. It's true, though. Ricky never did use a metal weapon. Hmm. It looked more like a fruit of some kind. A fruit. Kino here, this is actually gumberry that store ether within. Oh? Kino just make it suck in ether, and then it shoot out contents like real rifle. Aha! Uh -huh. Is that right? I'm not sure I've ever seen a berry that big before. Indeedy. Kino never see one lying around before. That for Gunberry. Sure. I mean, it's so not on. The plants that bear them must be very rare. I knew biters, but I didn't know you had curiosities like these. <laughs> well, biters still more popular. Little pond Kino also wants to use biter, but no beef on wings, <laughs> so it could not carry properly. Oh my gosh. But then, when Kino gets in big sulk, Dada Pong go and pick Gumberry from somewhere. Big Ricky sulk. did. So he can be a model father. <laughs> Everyone is so surprised by Ricky, like, being a good dad. Like, oh, oh, he did that? Oh, I see. I just thought he was, you know, he helped, you know, uh... <laughs> Oh, Nana with her fear of hide saved her. You know, oh my gosh. Yes, yes, that upon is true hero pawn. This weapon only used now by knock one two wimpy to hold biter, but that upon was first one to discover. Oh everyone jumped for happy when introduced. Ricky is a man of many talents, huh? <laughs> a true hero pawn indeed. That upon say. He get idea for making into weapon from Hom Hom gun. Oh. Inspired by a Hom's gun. Ah, Charla's ether rifle then. Yep. Though if he was going to make weapons, I would have been happy to help him out. Uh, would you know how to even make a Nopon weapon? How about if Shulk give Kino pointers? Kino still not always hit target. I think Charla is better for that. Pointers, eh? From what I saw, though, it seemed like you knew your stuff. You know, also think so, but still sometimes miss. Well, everyone misses sometimes. Right. Then maybe you'd best learn how to properly handle the weapon. Properly how? Hmm. Am I right to assume you've never really had proper training? I mean, he's doing great for considering oh, no training. How shock knowing of that? You know, state of shock. State of shock. I reckon the weapon's more beat up than it should be. You don't want that. More prone to malfunctions. What Kino should do? It's important to be as careful as possible. Handle it too roughly, and you could end up warping the grip. If the aim is a little off, it could potentially be because of that. 
Hoshok's no such things. Kino never figure out in a million years. <laughs> I love his eyes just sparkling like, oh, you are my, you know. I've always liked tinkering with weapons. Even made my friend Ryan's weapon, in fact. That'll be why. If you need a weapon maintained, I'm your guy. Shulk really second most awesome <laughs> after died upon. Tell Kino more, more, more! Oh my gosh, it looks up to Shulk so right. much. But for now, let's reinforce this to help with your aim. In return, could you perhaps share some more stories? <laughs> yes, I want to hear more about dead upon Ricky. You're my second. Second hero pawn. Hero pawn sidekick. A high end ether crystal? I think I know what you're getting at here. I'm not entirely sure of the location, but I know there's supposed to be a very rare ether deposit near here. An old lady called Sarja told me about it. You might be better off talking to her for more details. I'm interested myself and even tried searching around the Nerthus Necropolis, but couldn't find a thing. A good chance it's inside the cave. Ah, uh, okay. And it's not there, then I'm stumped. So that doesn't mean much. There will be other places to check. Okay. You'll find Sarja at Hero's Rest down at the south end of Grando. Oh my gosh. My son. He's, she's a kind old bird. Always worrying about her welfare and all that. Anyways, better get- Is she- oh, Okay. I was say, hope I was able to help a little. Alright, let's make some bracelets. Mm. I think I need to put Kino in. Hello. Uh oh. Kino discovered mother load of elastic ivy. Here, Angela can hold on to for now. Oh, okay, understood. I'll be sure to keep them safe. Next is sparkle stones. Kino saw stones that look similar near Lake where Junks landed. Should be no problem to find sparkle stones if look there. Hi. Uh oh. Kino, you're back. Did you find the sparkle stones? Oh, we get a little bit of. Materials all gathered. Kino can do all of rest. Weave in threads, put in stones. Wow! Can't, I can't wait. I hope it comes out well, Kino. Oh my gosh, these kids are so cute. Kino making friendship bracelets? Nene no, no, also help out. Friendship bracelets, a harmonious name, is it not? Yeah, totally agree. It's very caring of you, Kino. Miss Millie thinks so? Kino beaming. Okay, to work. Sister Pwn, also lend wing, please. Oh, the bracelets you made are so pretty, Kino. Thank you. Oh, thanks. I love how the stones are shiny. So fancy. Doesn't even look too flashy either. That's really cool. So these traditional Nopon friendship bracelets, Rududo never see before. This feels like personal growth. You're very skillful, Kino and Nene. Could I take a closer look? Sure, look. Isn't it pretty? It's proof of friendship. Please be careful not to break. Hey, Angela, did you notice? It seems like you've really come out of your shell. Huh? My shell? Oh, wow, you're right, I have. Oh, that's really cute. I guess I must have got over my shyness in the process. And it's thanks to you, Kino. Kino feel also much less scared than before. Friends are an amazing resource. Huh? Angela, since when were you shy? Since when was Kino shy? <laughs> Rududo had no idea. Really? Wow, very happy news. I am also happy. Thanks again, Kino. My hero pawn. Oh. <laughs> oh. So sweet, it'll give you diabetes. It's so cute. Alright. Are you that You get the bright tide I asked for? Alright, then it's time for me to get to work. Let us forge a ring. There you are. Here's the ring you asked for. I still think the whole thing is a bit strange, but do it. Go ahead and give it to Ardred. <sighs> I'm judging with the okay. society. Oh, the ring is ready? What superb make it is. Er, did I hear you right? Quartz made this, you say? Er, to tell you the truth, I'm no fan of that fa faux nerd scrapper. But this isn't about me, it's about Winnie. I guess I should be thankful for the ring. Why are you always screaming? Miss Winnie used to live in Alchemoth with a high entity of pure blood. That's why she's alone now. 
Oh, I guess her husband was high in tune. Back in those days, she felt rather embarrassed to live in the Capola's homes, and I could do nothing but watch. But things can be different now. I can't bear to see poor Miss Winnie wear her sorrow on her sleeve anymore. I shall give her this ring and make her a happy woman again. Thank you so much. You have no idea how much this means. Calm down, my dude. You okay now? Yes. I can't imagine the suffering Lafayette is having to go through losing her precious armors. Yet still, she forces a smile as if nothing ever happened. It got me thinking, if someone is frail as she can show such strength, I have no excuse to be wallowing in self-pity. There you go. It's angry, yes. intense dude. Sorry, a ring. Yes, I did receive one. Ardred showed up all of a sudden and gave it to me. It came in completely out of the blue. But thinking about it now, perhaps he was trying to cheer me up. I was acting uncharacteristically gloomy. Oh, that's right. I heard you worked with Mr. Cor Cords to make the ring. I'm sorry to have dragged you into all of this. Thank you for your patience. You've been too kind. Oh, I'm glad you're feeling better. This is truly... Forget Xenoblade Chronicles. This is... Everyone needs a little bit of therapy chronicles. There's a machina. Mele... Kanze. Was I thinking all's well and good to want to photograph monsters, but how could I forget about my cowardice? <laughs> what are one of my options? Ask someone to do it for me? It'd have to be someone who could operate this machine. I assume from this... Okay. Machine equals shulk. Welcome. You are a homs, a hyentia, and a nopon. The person specimens. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Don't mind me. Please pretend you didn't hear that. Ah, oh, we're sorry to disturb you. What are you doing out here anyways? Ah, uh, er, nothing suspicious. You have my word. Please don't start suspecting me. Ah, uh, too late. As you can see, I'm a machina. After arriving on the Bionis shoulder, I was stunned by the level of biodiversity here. Ah. From there, I decided to study the local monsters and came here to take photos of some of the species. Oh. Wow, I haven't seen any of those since I was at Dunbine's house. Which monsters did you come to photograph? Dinosaurus? Yep. Don't. Dinoses. And Lucas. But there's a problem. Whenever I face one of the beasts, my legs start shaking. You guys look pretty strong, so I bet you wouldn't know how that feels. Hey, do you know how to use a camera? A camera? Well, I've never actually used one properly, but I've tinkered with them a bit. Right, right. Well, if that's the case, it's probably safe to say you could learn. Sure, I understand how it works theoretically, so I should be able to figure out the handling. Right, then I hope you won't think it's too forward, but... Would you mind taking the monster's photos in my place? I'm not convinced I'll be able to take very good pictures, though. That's alright. The camera will respond to your desires and do the lion's share of the work. Um, I'm not sure how that camera work, but okay. Do I have to take a photo or do we have to murder it? Oh my gosh. Oh wait, what? Oh, <laughs> this is gonna end poorly. I'm excited. Aha. Or does he... Uh... <laughs> does he discover a new passion? Found you. Would this angle be good? Beautiful. Good job. Well, that should do it. I think I'm getting the hang of this. Does this take us out of the battle, or do we go straight back into it? Oh, hey! Nice. Alright. That actually helped. Alright, sneaky sneaky. <laughs> Chuck discovers a new hobby. There it is. I'll have to be careful not to rile it up. Oh. Let's hope the shot comes out well. I think it was decent enough. Photo of Glow Dinos. Ah! We have been spotted. We ran away. I think I did it. No promises. Welcome. Thank you so much. They're wonderful photos. I'm impressed. It'll be a great asses asset to our ongoing survey of the Bionis shoulder. Alright, nice. Um, I've been unsure whether to say this next part, but if I think if I didn't, I'd never forgive myself. So here goes. Please let me study yourselves too someday. Donate your bodies to science. It would be for a good cause. <laughs> Why do we meet so many strange people? Okay. 
The less said of her follow-up request, the better. <laughs> oh, the flowers are still there. <laughs> Hi. Yes, uh, the guard at the ramparts told you, didn't he? He and my late friend were on good terms. Naturally, I had to regale the man with tales of my friend's escapades. I believe the one that may have be of particular interest to you is the time my friend, a high India man, discovered a crystal. He was a real go-getter, that man, always traipsing around exploring from the day he set foot on the shoulder. He would tell me all sorts of stories from his adventures to entertain little old me. I remember it like yesterday. The sky was a brilliant blue. Birds were singing. I'd come to pay my respects at the graveyard like any other day. And then along he came with the biggest smile on his face and took out an object wrapped in cloth. He said he found a strange crystal alongside an ether deposit. And what a light it gave off. The cloth it w was wrapped in wasn't enough to stop shining through. It stopped. Enough to stop it from shining through. I was a sight to behold. The core was translucent, yet it gave off a pale glow, warm yet somehow ice cold. It was like being bathed in turquoise sunlight. I'd never seen anything more beautiful, and I don't believe I ever will. Sadly, it dwindled to nothing in a matter of minutes. If there'd been anything left of it, I would have kept it as a memento, I'm sure. I remember him telling me how incredibly large the deposit was, drooping down from the ceiling above. Oh, wait. From his description, I imagine it might have looked like a stalactite. No. Which is why I'm convinced it must have been in some sort of cavern. And despite the deposit sides, the crystal he'd retrieved fit comfortably in the palm. It must have been formed over a long period of time. Ideally, he could have told you exactly where it was located. But I'm afraid that's not possible because he's sleeping here quite peacefully now and cannot really be disturbed. Oh. I'm sorry I wasn't able to show you the exact location, my dears. Still, I hope that my little antidote was of some use to you. I pray that you two will be able to find what you seek. Thinking so, lady. Seem about time to tell learnings to Raz... Rad Radza. <laughs> Just calling her old lady. So that's how things are. It seems we owe Miss Sarja... Sarja? Sar and her friend a debt of gratitude for the valuable information they provided us. It's just my conjecture, but the crystal may have been highly responsive to heat and sublimated when exposed to some light. It's fascinating, isn't it? I have to say, its properties are quite unusual. And I agree with Sarja. I think that it would have been found in a cave, like she said. So the soldier said he'd already searched Nerthus Necropolis, huh? Alright, let's think of other options. Uh, if you follow Thyme Lane, which breaks off from Thule's Way towards the northwest, you'll reach the forbidden Hushland. It's a dangerous place, though, so it hasn't been mapped out very thoroughly. Nevertheless, there is meant to be a cave-like location thereabouts. The man who found the crystal must have been a formidable swordsman. It may be from him that news of the cave's existence reached us. Very worthy. I pray that you find a high ether crystal there indeed. You are the only ones we can rely on to harvest it, I'm afraid. Good luck. And if you do find a high ether crystal, be careful to keep it away from strong light as you carry it back. Let's go. So now what we need to do is modify the weapon to incorporate the crystals. All right. Mm. Radzim, sir. Four beasts have broken through the gates. Of course they have. They're through. If only they'd waited a few hours. Shulk, defending Grandel is our priority. Follow me. Right. He's... It, the Fog King is watching. We shall deal with the intruders. You get the villagers to safety. Okay. Okay. Teelan, you stay put. Gotcha. Where's... Where's your sister? Uh, hi. Oh, hey. We should get an arch coin for this, right? Ah, Tyria. We have Tyria. <gasps> Does she join our party? Oh my gosh, her weapons are awesome. This rebel won't stand a chance. Not against the big one. We'll keep the small fry off your back. All right. All right, here we go. You shall not pass. You're the healer, Kino. You will not. That I believe. <laughs> Let's go. 
Okay. Come, my nope on army. And just take him out. I should probably also... Alright, there we go. Ah! Maybe I shouldn't be so close. Alright! I know, I put a stun. Not topple. I don't get too close. Come on. I believe in you. How is that possible? Come on. Smack. You get this. I, I've been changing my level so much, I do not remember what it's at, ever. <laughs> we better have got an art coin for that. <laughs> Seal the gates! We beat them this time, but the numbers are against us. I hate to say it, but if you'd already left when the attack happened, we'd be smoke. Fog King must go! Down with Fog King! <laughs> Situation is tough. I agree. Uh, we need the soldiers. Melia? I'll do it. I will bring the companions oh, to the Oh, okay. Lead. So you actually will. They won't agree. You know they despise us. Yeah, but they don't want the other high end here to die. They must see the danger. They may they be in danger. What needs to be done? Yay. As soldiers of the high end here, they know it's their solemn duty. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I swear it. I will bring them back with me. Even if we have to knock them out. Yeah, she is Please. the Empress. Trust me, Ratson. I'll be right here, trusting and waiting. Tyrea. Join us? Yeah, yeah. Hurry up and go. But I haven't even... Defend this place until I return. Those are your orders, right? <laughs> Though we're short-handed as it is. Will you be okay? Just go before I change my mind. <laughs> she you. won't change her mind. We'll be quick. Movement! Multiple biggins confirmed! Uh well. Impossible. More already. If the rift grows any wider than it is now, Grandel is lost. Come, follow me. You head straight for the cape. What are you saying? This will take all- I know exactly what my orders are here. I hope I don't have to remind you what yours are. If we have soldiers and can bring them back, that will help. You said it yourself. If the rift grows any wider, there's no way we'll be able to hold this place alone anyway. This is our last chance to enlist the Companion's aid. Tyrea. Radzam is trusting you with this. Now you put your trust in me. Come on. We we had to fight her. We know how tough Come she on. is. We make for the companion's cape. Let's go. Oh. I should have probably leveled up again. But if we can take out this mini fog beast, uh that'd be great. No, let me fight them. I want the art coins. What the? Maxis, fall back now. <laughs> I think he's like, 
Who are you to order me about? Come on. Ah, my party is terrible. I'm sorry. I have... Uh... Okay, let's just take these little ones out first. I'm sorry, I wanted to change my party. I have no idea where I'm even at. Alright. Come on, where is the side? There we go. There we go. Let's take these out, it's fine. Okay, it's only level 70 and tall king. Okay, it's an increased damage, but it's fine. I need to lose the aggro. There we go. Fun Spectres, yes! Alright. Huh? Oh, is that. Okay, I thought that was. Okay, that's fine. Got it. <laughs> I don't think I got it. Ah, I keep forgetting until the very end. Okay, we got this one. All right, the Empress and her Nopon army. Think that's all of them? We're in the clear. No. Breathe deep, men, and prepare for the next wave. Yeah, that's only. Let's go through this again. Hi, Entia, deploy your shields. Stop the advance on the gates. Anyone with a rifle, clean out small targets in range. Remember, all we're here to do is buy time. Eliminating all threats is not our mission. Make no mistake. Mom! <laughs> I love she's already uh, taken control of like the army here she's just gonna become the high anti general well not the army but the sort of militia let's go hi fog beast they're all just gone. What? But how? Uh, we're that good. How are you? All well? Y yeah. <laughs> They're so confused. What the hell are you? <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's so rude. Uh, we're the heroes that saved your lives. Never you mind that. We've come to make a request. Time is of the essence. Go on. Would you return to Grandel? If you're asking like that, I assume you know why we left. Yes. Indeed. But uh, everyone's in danger of dying. Then you must know why that's not an option. What if I said Grandel is besieged by fog beasts? Are you serious? I'm far too busy to come here just to lie. Oof. Oh, she's throwing shade here. And the villagers, are they safe? For now? Yes, for the time being. But not for much longer. It's your duty. Come on, dude. You don't seem all that surprised, Maxis. Oh. Rude. Come on. No, I didn't know. Just connecting the dots. If we were it, then... Well, I trust I needn't spell it out for you. A veteran of the guard. You need not. 
But it's not as simple as you make it out. Okay, cool. All your families die. Yeah, that's fine. I never said anything about simple. But you did ask. Uh, yeah, because it's your duty. You forget yourself, Maxis. Do I now? <laughs> what matters here is that the lives you have been guarding are once again in danger as we speak. See, I think she could, like, do it without pulling rank. Yes, but... You're free to have your reasons. But you need to find a way to accept reality and move forward in your life. <sighs> Maxis, we are the lucky ones. What do you mean? We can go home. That's nonsense. The Fog King has Alchemoth. Yeah, and we found a way to defeat him. Yes, but our home is right there. Even if we cannot live in it now. Oh, this is what I was saying earlier. Like, yeah, their home is destroyed. They can't go back. But you have a chance. But what of the other refugees? To them, home is gone. Even if they could leave, they have no certainty home still exists. But we... left them for dead. How can we possibly... They... they want to be it friendly. It's never too late to make amends. Unless you're as dead. As long as you live. Oh, okay, yeah. After all, despite your quarrels, you are neighbors, family. Those bonds can withstand more than you think. Maxis, realize what you have. Do it before it's too late, or you'll regret it. <laughs> Maxis, I'm going with these people. See, you have good sense. I can't turn my back on them. Maxis, come on. <sighs> you're damn good. All right, I'm in. <laughs> so you're. See, she didn't even have to pull pull rank. Truly. Yes, but it wasn't your fancy words that swayed me. Mm -hmm. My family needs me. Fine. As you wish. Birdman pain in bomb bomb. <laughs> Real feather brain. <laughs> You're getting dissed by the no pod. That's bad. All right. I don't know if everyone's left. No, we still have the art book. Everyone else except the shopkeepers. The poor shopkeepers are like, uh, well, we're going to brave it out here. Oh, nice. Come on, Terea. Useless little spoiled princess brat. <laughs> so angry. No sign of Miss Maya yet. Not so far. We're on our way. Damn! Bunch of new oh. Renosaurus. Not just yet. Stand firm. Believe in our brethren. Believe in your new leader. There's only so much you can do. And she's gonna keep doing it. When you see me fall, abandon this place. And withdraw into grand death. Come on, Melia. Victoria. Yes. He kept us waiting. You a jerk. <laughs> Lady Melia. She's back. And it looks like she brought the companions with her. Let's clear a path. Oh yeah! Epic fight scene. I'm here for this. 
All right. Yeah, I'm glad I. Uh, I'm not built. F I'm built for single target right now, but that's fine. If I can get the dinosaurus kind of down. Let's do this. All right. Ugh, I don't think I got these two. There we go. Okay, there we go. Let's do ice and try to get a bunch of this. Nice. Come on, we got this. Oh shoot, Nene! Where's Nene? Na 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 na! Oh shoot, we're in trouble. All right. Okay, come on. All right. No, we're good. We're good. We got the dinosaurs down. Oh shoot! I messed that up a little bit, but it's fine. I need to. Okay. <sighs> Maxis, thank you. Ha! Huh. It's me who should be thanking you, Ransom. If you hadn't spoken out when you did, we couldn't be having this conversation. What are you talking about? If it weren't for your help, we'd all have kicked it ages ago. See, you guys can... come to an understanding. This is what I like to see. Miss Melly looking for Tyrea? Yes, yeah, she okay? She go back after healing. Cannot put up with this sentimental manure. Was exact words. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like her. Sounds just like her. To a T. Lady Melia, I'm glad we trusted you. We owe you a debt for our lives. No. You have only each other to thank. Yeah, I mean, you kind of brought them together. Huh? Wait up. <laughs> Melia? Did he say Melia? <laughs> ah, you just realized who you've been talking to. Indeed. Surely not. You can't be the Melia Antiqua. Antiqua? Uh, yes. I do... Get called that sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, you know, just every day of my life. I, that no, what? <laughs> that means. Uh, I insulted the empress. Your, your highness, is the crown princess Melia. Empress. Do you need a minute, Maxis? <laughs> impudence. Uh, you're the one that had impudence. This girl is the true-born child of our late Emperor Saurian, the Imperial successor, Crown Princess Melia Antiqua. Is he telling the truth? Uh, yes. It was not my intent to deceive. I thought if I announced myself, it could bring hope, but it could also bring despair. What our people need now is hope only. Hence the discretion. I'd appreciate if you treated me normally. Right. That is enough of that. <laughs> Much work remains, after all. You mean slaying the Fog King? Lady Melia, we companions will form your honor guard. Oh, that's a... that's a bad memory. You won't. You companions will join Tyrea and guard Grandel from Fogbeast Incursion. She's like, uh, I'm not going to go through that again. But that's... I can handle Listen myself. Me, Maxis. You feel you want to dispel the regrets of your brethren by your own hands. I understand well. But for the sake of those fallen, you must protect the living. Don't you think that's the best way to use your talents right now? <sighs> The Companion's strength, Grandel's knowledge, Tyrea's will. Without any one of those, the town would be lost. 
Yeah, we got this it's handled. The only way. I understand. We accept. Trust us with the ramparts. Thank you. Truly. Lady Melia, take care. Absolutely. <laughs> Maxis and his companions, they're counting on us, too. Yeah. Yes. Let us perform the enhancements at Radsom's. May we, Radsom? Ah, oh, only too gladly, Miss Melia. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be one of those moments in Max's life where he's just gonna be like, oh, whenever he thinks about it at night. It's ready. <laughs> what? We've not changed much. He doesn't need to change much. Still same. Quite. Well, it was more of a tweak. I don't mind. If it lets us take down the Fog King. Hmm. Theoretically. Theoretically. Finally come time for denouement. <laughs> How do you know the word denouement? These are Fog King numbered. The weird blend of Nopon vocabulary is something amazing. Well, it is time. Please come back safe. But this will wait. Tilan, not to cause mischief in meantime, okay? I really want to know how old Tilan is now. So, you did it. Thanks to you and to Tilan. Oh, okay. Strength and honor, friend. We will do our best. The Fog King is in the villa. You saw it? Yeah. But how will we get in there? I tried to enter several times, but the transporter refused to work. Uh, let's just climb. That's because it was set so that only I could activate it. Oh. You joining us? Why? The villa was where I rescued Teelan from the Fog King's clutches before you came. I wanted to seal it off and trap the monster inside. Yeah, that's Except fair. The transporters, they don't mean a damn thing to it. <laughs> Still, it seemed better than nothing, so I put it on lockdown. Oh, is that? I used this for authentication. Oh. Take it. I have no need of it anymore. I see. Character Look, development. Here. Don't worry. Good. I shall count on it. Our race's future is in your hands. Got it? Awkward silence. Okay. The nod. All right. I won't let you down. Well, let's go. Hmm. Nene got friends and friends of friends. No. That line of hero Ponkinos. You both are needed. Again, why do we sometimes open the big door and sometimes the small you one? You brave few who venture forth. We salute you. Um, we're coming right back. I hope you know. Ah, oh, hey, the arts book lady has moved. Good. Um, hmm. Oh? Come and see! Ah, Miss Melia. Is something the matter, or do you have business with me? I just got this. I was asked to please give it to Miss Melia. So here, it's for you. Oh. Uh, some kind of message. Impossible! What is it? What is it? I'm sorry, I'm afraid I've quite forgotten my manners. Thank you for delivering the note. I hereby confirm its receipt. Now, if you'd be so kind to excuse me, it seems there's somewhere I must go at my earliest convenience. Oh? What's this one called? 
What? Oh. I am really curious now. I knew like this little like geography here looked really suspicious. I was like something's gotta be going on here, but does I mean look at that? It just is Who is this? Is this No Wait, what? Oh, you! Gelgar! Oh look! A cliff to shove him off of! Perfect! I've been expecting you. I was quite certain you would respond to my invitation. And here you are. Hey, this quest is called The Fallen, so... Do not feel too pleased with yourself. I said I would spare you, but the offer was only good for one transgression. That's right, Creepy Birdman ought to know when to quit. This time we smack Creepy Birdman so hard go up and puff of feathers. I may regret asking this, but what is your goal here? I doubt you would have gone to all this trouble just to stage a teary reconciliation. You are not fit to rule this new age. I beg your pardon. Cliff! Though wholly commingled blood r runs in your veins, complicit with the pure bloods make marks you as not, but a filthy traitor. But not me. I will overthrow the pure blood and the accursed past alongside it. I'm the one suited to rule the high Antia. After all this time, you're still clinging to your delusions. Gwahaha! <laughs> you're literally doing an evil maniacal laugh, my good sir. I will say it as many times as it will take. I will rule in this brave new world. My commingled blood will be paramount. I'm gonna have blood on a, you know, <laughs> bottom of a cliff. And you will be dirt beneath my souls. Uh, no. Gelgar, more than anything, I find you pitiable. Elliot, don't underestimate him. I know. Farewell. Let us end it. Let us properly end this. Please tell me I get to shove him off of cliff. Uh, alright, we're technically underleveled, but we are single. Okay, let's go. But with our Nopon army, nothing is impossible. Ow. Resentful Gelgar. Fallen of mental capacity, maybe? I don't know. Like, dude, you have gone full crazy evil. Like... Okay, yes. All right. Okay, yes. Your arts are locked. Let's go. This is good music, though. This is good, like... Uh, music for fighting him. Oh, okay. Oh, don't you dare heal yourself. How dare you think of doing such. The only, yeah, the only good thing about him is he has, uh, good battle music. Likes of you. Ha! Huh. Have you met me? I am Melia. Oh, look. Perfect. We're on a cliff. Please tell me. Please just push. Push. Why? Why? Truth. Justice on my side. The mingle blood was destined to rule. Uh, technically, yes, because it's Melia, but that doesn't mean there's the only blood that's going to be here. Uh, there's, there's going to be blood, though, for you. Please push him. Please push him. You need to break free from the past. How, how dare you? You're so possessed by the matter of bloodlines that you use them as a sole determinant of good and evil. 
I mean, isn't that what some of the High India also did? And that was also not good. Just like those purebloods whom you purport to despise once did. Thank you. No, no, you're wrong. I'm not. I didn't. Yes, you very much did. I'm nothing like them. I am. You are exactly like them. Yelgar, my countrymen, though you may be, your deeds in this land cannot be forgiven. You presume to judge me, child. I am empress. Furthermore, you merit punishment, and yet I do not feel fit to met it out. Just push him off the cliff. It's fine. He's got wings. Where is this going? The pain you suffered for your mixed blood may be the past, but the responsibility for it lay in part with the imperial family. I feel that you should be afforded some consideration and recognition of that fact. Cliff. It's all over, Galgar. Mend your ways and seek a new path of life while you still have a life to live. Melia, you're too nice. No. Bahahaha. <laughs> Meh. Shulk, Melia's too nice. Just go and shove him off the cliff, please. <laughs> you're literally doing evil maniacal laughs here, my dude. And you think you're the sane one? Oh! Are you gonna throw yourself off the cliff? Thank you! Finally! <laughs> what? What? Delgar! No, no. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to actually go off of a cliff, but I have... I have no regrets. Meliamite. I'm sorry, Melly. I'm very sorry if you're sad. That wretch. Was this always the end he was destined to meet? Yes. Was this the only end he imagined remaining open to him? Melia, it wasn't your fault. Uh, and this is what he needed. Let us away, friends. Our work is still far from over. Yeah, need everyone together to defeat nasty King of Fog. You're right. You better not be clinging to the side there. It's fine. There's probably water down below. <laughs> and then if we know anything in this game, if you hit water, it's fine. It's, there's no such thing as compression or physics. I was joking when we started and I said, push him off a cliff because I just saw cliffs behind us. I feel a little bad for Melia who feels bad about it, but I don't feel bad for Kilgar. Yeah, he needed to go off that cliff. That was very satisfying to watch. We've been so close to Cliff so many times while we were around him. And I'm like, just, just, just a little shove, just a little shove. This is exactly what we needed. Let's go ahead and jump right into the comments. Our first comment is by Luke Delameter. What makes Tilan's appearance even better is that all of the side quests he gives involve him wanting to learn more about science. Now here he is in the future, connected. Proving it. Yes, they absolutely pick the perfect NPC for this story. He starts off just wanting to learn about bugs, but he keeps like leveling up the amount of knowledge he wants to know until it culminates in the main story of him wanting the Telethia research. So it is just a perfect segue into Future Connected. And I feel kind of bad for anyone who missed his quest in the main game because they're just going to go into this like, Tilan, why do they know him? Where is he from? Who is this kid? But... Thank you for your comment. Our next comment is from IA. I love that the emotional song for Future Connected is the funny no pawn song from the base game. It's honestly cute how they reimagined the song for this story. I didn't even realize that. I enjoy the music, but I generally do not make the connections between it. Thank you for pointing that out because I totally missed that. And to add on to that, we have this comment from Like a Lacoy. From what I recall, that emotional version of it was used in the base game during the scene with Dunban, Ricky, Melia on the fallen arm, and during the save screen after beating the game. I think it's called Ricky's Kindness. So thank you for that little bit of extra context, and thank you both for your comments. Before I go, I do want to apologize for not responding to comments as quickly as normal. I've had a little bit of offline chaos to deal with, 
But hopefully that is all over and I can catch up on replying to comments this week. I promise I've been reading them. I've just not had the time to sit down and actually type out responses. But even if I haven't responded to them yet, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who writes comments. I really appreciate them. I really love reading them and I really enjoy responding to them. I just have not had the time to sit down and do that. But I promise I will catch up on that. So. Have a good day, have a good night, wherever and whenever you are, and I'll see you all soon.